Okay, 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 okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we just talked about that 14th so-called amendment citizen. Let's prove to you that the 14th so-called amendment citizen is a creature of statute. Pay attention, follow what I'm saying. 14th amendment citizen, the United States citizen is a creature of statute. Let's prove this. The privileges and immunities, this is a slaughterhouse case, the privileges and immunities of citizens of the United States are those that arise out of the nature and essential character of the national government. Okay, pay attention. It's a creature of statute. The provisions of its constitution and or its laws and treaties made in pursuance thereof. And it is these which are placed under the protection of Congress by this clause of the 13th Amendment. What the, who put that under the authority and protection of Congress? I don't remember the people saying that. It is not necessary to inquire here into the full force of the clause forbidding the states to enforce any law which deprives a person of life or liberty. Here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. They already had those clauses. They didn't just create it or property without due process of law. For that phrase has been often the subject of judicial construction and is under no admissible view of it applicable to the present case. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, let me make sure you all understand. The right to life, liberty, and property comes from the Fifth Amendment, doesn't come from the courts. The so-called federal constitution applies to every state. Why? Because they entered into the contract. They accepted the constitution, the Bill of Rights. That was a requirement. Go look at the Northwest Ordinance, how it required that. Northwest Ordinance preceded the constitution. It required that, okay? The Privileges and Immunities Clause of the 14th Amendment is limited to federal citizenship rather than extending the state citizenship. So a U.S. citizen is a federal citizen, not a state citizen. Sorry, just so that you know. You just need to know what was going on. It's called the slaughterhouse cases. Okay, that's what you're looking for, where they define that a U.S. citizen is a federal citizen. Go ahead and take a look. There's no such thing as a federal citizen. No one can be born into the federal government. Go look at the 14th Amendment and look at what it says a United States citizen is one who was born. It is a created citizen, a created entity. It is a legal construct. It is a creature of statute. I am not a black American. I'm not an African American. I'm not any of them things. I'm just an American. I was born in America. Living in America. James Brown. <laughs> Gotta go. Take care of yourselves. I'm out of here.